All right, it's a lot of junk in the garage. So if we excavate the junk beneath the layers like an archaeologist would dig down, you can estimate about how long something's been sitting. So we've got the backpack. We took to Pismo. We've got the backpack. We took to San Jose. The wheel kit from our electric bike. Oh, there's my weed whacker. Holy crap. I wonder where that was. And my leaf floor. And somewhere beneath all of this lies the noble Honda. So we're going to find out if you can let your noble Honda, uh, where's the brand name, it? brand name, XL500R, if it can sit for a year and just start right up. I'm sure the battery's dead, but it has an XR motor in it, so it probably doesn't need to have any charge and it'll still fire up. So uh, fast forward, you don't have to watch me clean my garage, but let's see once we can get it out into the harsh light of day if it will start or not. And to answer the question why I haven't been riding it, I've had some injuries and some accidents, some of which occurred riding downhill on my bicycle. And just been really busy, so time to get back out on the road. Or off the road with this one actually, it goes off road pretty good too. I'll sell propane and propane accessories. Wait a minute, there's my chainsaw. All right, I'm gonna find some treasures today. Oh, there's our training wheels. All right, well, it has been a while. We're gonna install this and make it legal. Release sounds. Glub, 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 fill her up. All right, let's fire it up. go this Honda will not die you can park it for a year come back if you can find it under all your crap and fire it right back up um, if you haven't watched my other videos review about this bike I can tell you a little bit about it first I suppose I should put the disclaimer in and say you should never ever try to kickstart one of these in tennis shoes you should always wear the proper safety equipment and everything else but this thing will break your foot or your leg if you don't know how to start it if you do know how to start it it is a sweetheart and you can watch my starting video if you have one of these and can't figure out how to get it started uh, it's an 82 Honda XL 500R with a 78 XR 500 motor the XR 500 motor has a lighter flywheel than the XL motor. So it revs a little bit quicker. It's got a little higher compression too. So a little more punch and it'll rev quicker than your standard XL model. And uh, I've taken it off road. It's heavy and these street tires are really terrible off road. It's like being on ice and all of the instrument cluster stuff shakes loose and you have to torque it back down or you risk losing pieces but overall great street bike lots of fun um, people tell me that the motard fender is terrible on it and i shouldn't have it on there the original fender is great and i still have it but if i'm going over 70 on the freeway the original fender blows down in the wind and gets into the knobs and goes and it took me a while to figure out what the terrible sound was and i leaned over and oh that's not good chewing up my fender so that's why that's on there that's for freeway uh, urban assault vehicle los angeles use so thanks for watching and uh comment like subscribe is that's what the kids are saying these days smash the mfing like button all that thanks